Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trades setups for today. So, um, yeah, I mentioned uh, this flag last week, and uh, you can see we did get the breakout with a bit of a, an exhaustion bar, in my view. But anyway, I still have a measured move target for the flag of around 4112, okay, 4112. That is still on the cards. Obviously, I would love to see a retest of the break. Now, the significance of what we have going on right now is a retest of a break. You see this bar going into the close on Friday broke above 3939. And remember, we spoke about 3939 uh, two weeks ago. And, uh, well, we've been speaking about it since January, pretty much, uh, January, February. You can see that's the level that we've been battling to get through, which is 39.39. Now, we got through it in the beginning of the month and then dropped. And now we closed above it again. So that's two weeks in a row. So first we got above it, we didn't close above it. Then we tested it, now we're back above it. That, to me, is a line in the sand right now. So I think we, we're more than likely going to continue with the sideways choppy action. But um, for me... It, Go with the flow, you know, we're still making higher lows, long it is. Uh, it's just a bit of a, it's not moving up in a nice steady trend, but it's definitely moving up in a, um, a haphazard fashion. So let's just get down. I don't think much is going to change on the three hour at the moment, except for the fact that we've got a couple of breakouts here to test. So each of these tails, and I think I'm not going to muddy the waters, I'm just going to put that one in there. So 39.53 and 39.39 these are the areas to watch i am of the opinion that 39.39 is the one we need to pay attention to so weekly gap down those gaps typically play uh, they typically close during the same week i mean that's the higher probability trade at the moment we do have a bit of a inverse head and shoulders here the neckline is at 39.39 as well and uh, i just want to see if we have a bigger picture here just give me a chance to look at the weekly and um, that's a weekly engulfing so and still creating higher highs so that trend is up there's no debate about it it's pointless even trying to to assume that the trend has changed the trend is up you're looking for opportunities to buy into this and uh, it's as simple as that so for me i'm definitely looking let me put all the levels in because I am going to need them today. So 39.49, 39.42, 39 39.39. And uh, we'll see what happens here at 39.53 as well. So that's the moral of the story. And there is a bigger level further down as well, down here. But that would erase, erode most of this um, rally from yesterday. So anyway, uh, lots of things in the news that are infecti affecting the market. So obviously that ship that was blocking the Suzy Canal um, basically created a, a demand on oil because a lot of ships had now had, had now to travel around uh, Africa and uh, putting uh, additional costs onto their journey. So they obviously need fuel to, to burn and that's pretty much what uh, the oil driven spike is about. But for me at the moment, I think um, this is well worth a 15 minute watch today and pay attention because it is getting close to the opportunity to buy into it again. Uh, I just want to check on the five minutes. I know on the Dow there were gaps. Yeah, there's gaps all the way up. Yeah, 39.39. Don't be too surprised to see that today. Possibly even 39.33, but any pullback into that area I'm looking to buy. That's more of my story this morning but you can see all these five minute gaps here there's one there's one there's one uh, there's a tiny one there and there might actually be one here you can see the red bar closed down here and then yeah there is one here so it's red and then the open was slightly higher so there's another one there so all the way down to 39.33 are gap so that I think is what we should look to see in the European session somewhere down here and then before the US session we're looking to buy 
from that point. Okay, so that's kind of my take on the market this morning. Hope it helps you and uh, we will catch up with you bright and breezy tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.